Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jita, and I'm back with another review. This time I have SH Figure Arts Star Wars Episode 1 Obi-Wan Kenobi. Before we look at the figure, let's look at the box. And here's the box. He comes in a little clamshell and stuff, window display. Star Wars on the side. You got your figure arts mission statement and everything like that. And you got on the back, you got the product shots, Obi-Wan Kenobi, facial expression, alternate heads, what he can do. And such product shot will be one right here on the side, and on the bottom, you got your Japanese stuff right there. That you can't, I cannot read. And the top figure art Star Wars Obi Wan Kenobi episode one, and that's out for the box. Off it goes to the Phantom Zone. And so, you're about to get your Obi Wan Kenobi right figure right here, and also, he gets come with his accessories. Let's go for the accessories real quick, come with an alternate head. Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber, I believe. He comes with three other sets of alternate hands. He comes with, um, attached to him, he comes with two fisted hands. But he comes with also two force hands, two light sword, lightsaber gripping hands, and come with two specialty hands. Um, first hand, get the little peace symbol like he's, um, he's doing his pre-attack pose. I never seen him. I remember him doing it in episode one, but I do remember, remember him doing it in episode three when he was fighting General Grievous. And also, I'm not sure what this is, but it could be another force hand also. And it comes with a little instruction sheet, which also tells you about the hands he comes with, the alternate heads, how to take them off, and how to put it in the lightsaber holding hands because they are tricky getting in and tell you how to put in his lightsaber and how to hold quite on gins and he also comes with an extra lightsaber or not real lightsaber but only the hilt his hilt it comes attached to him in in package and it does come off a little tab right there just plug it on in and i think you can hold it because his lightsaber you have to pull the end off and this end does not come off. So he cannot hold the lightsaber unlit. Well, he probably be able to wedge it in through this way, through this side, but this bottom portion does not come off for what he's going on. So yeah, look at the figure. Um, looks real nice. Pretty good so far. Um, nice sculpt in the hair. And they saw up front right here. The hair, like he got some sprayed on hair, or his hair, his hair dye is like running, didn't dry all the way, and it looks really bad on this head right here. You can see that it's going on right there. So, so yeah, the hair looks cool, looks pretty good, except for that. But this head right here looks way more pale in comparison to this one. This one, he like he got some lipsticks on and just kissed him or something right there. But this one right here, it looks like he put on some powder, so he won't be. Shiny face won't be shiny, but they put too much powder on his face. It looks kind of like pale in comparison, especially in the eyes. You can really tell. Yeah, so. But yeah, he got more of a um, intense face right here. But you don't just swap it off. Just pop it off the head, ball joint. And put it on. And he has some pretty good articulation as far as um, all the other SA figure figures, figures go. Um, head is on like a ball peg, I said, and you can look up, look down, left and right, tilt side to side, uh, neck is also articulated, arms on his butterfly joint, be careful because they do seem to pop off and stuff, so, so you got all kinds of shoulder shrug right there, get a little bit of butterfly action going down. Rotates at the upper bicep. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It pops off right there. It also pops off inside here too. So be careful with that. And the peg right here doesn't seem like it goes. Doesn't seem like it goes in deep enough to make it really secure. I tried pushing it back in, and it seems like it doesn't fit all the way up in there. So yes, I, I would like it to. But yeah, you get rotation right there out of that. You got elbow bend, you get a little bit of rotation at the elbow also. 90 degree elbow bend, 
Did I just say that? I think I probably just did. You got a wrist hinge. Wrist does rotate on a peg. And be careful when putting in these lightsaber holding hands because they go in at a weird angle. Where is the other one at? So yeah, you can see the hole on that is at the top of the hand. Instead of going straight in, you gotta put it in at an angle. And then it's really hard getting it in there securely, like the, the, the hole is not that big to support the joint. So be careful with that because you get no step, no extra wrist pegs. So you might end up breaking your figure if you try to push it in too hard. He has a waist rotation. You can lean back a little bit. You can lean forward and the back. It looks pretty clean. You got a little bit of garbage right there, but you can pull the fully belt and cover that up. You can go side to side a little bit. Get this soft material for his uh, tunic. So you can get leg go forward good amount, nine degrees. Can go back a little tiny bit. About as normal as a human should go. Um, does his leg collapse down? No, it doesn't go downward at all. I don't believe. I think it's on that. Yeah, I don't point. believe. I think it's on a um, hinge joint that goes down. You can move it up and down. Yeah, I think it goes down slightly. But it's not as good as the Iron Man joints for the crotch. It has a good knee bend. Uh, it does uh, rotate at the upper thigh a little bit because it's on the ball joint at the groin. Uh, a little bit of rotation at the at the knee. That's a little tiny bit. Uh, no boot rotation. He has an ankle tilt. And there you go. And he has to go forward. And back at the toe, at the foot, and he has a toe pivot also. So yeah, nice looking figure. Um, the soft goods do work. They do work nicely on this figure. Nice detail on the belt, the pouches, lightsaber handle, the paint on the belt buckle there. Even his little, uh, his Padawan tail has the, the ribbons in it. It's nicely painted. At least for the most part. Is it? Uh, maybe a little bit sloppy, but you can't really, can't notice it from a distance anyway. Unless you're really up on it, like we are right now. Got a little ponytail on the back. Or his Padawan lock. I guess you can say. But yeah, man, I really like this figure. It looks really nice. Very, very nice. So, and he has the quiet on gen lightsaber also. He can put it in his other in his hand and slash Darth Maul. And speaking of Darth Maul, I don't have the SH figure with Darth Maul, but I do have the Hasbro. Black Series, Darth Maul, and side by side, they do look good together. I mean, I'd be happy with this configuration right here. Even though Darth Maul lightsaber like some Hasbro um, generic crap, and this is more highly detailed, and the figures do look good together, because this, especially this, so this Darth Maul is from Hasbro's beginnings of the Black Series and probably the best figure they put out. And here he is with Hasbro's episode three, Obi Wan. You can see the differences there. And here he is with the figure arts Luke Skywalker. And one thing I want to mention about the lightsabers: this lightsaber on the Skywalker is very is is more narrow than these two lightsabers. These lightsabers right here, they seem like they flare out a whole lot more than than this one does. This one seems more slim. This one seems like it flares out then goes back skinny. I'm not sure how accurate that is to the lightsaber mythos and stuff like that, but 
Just something to point out. Same is the same thing on this blue one also. And I want to say about the blue lightsaber. Uh, this this one looks too much dark blue. I mean, it doesn't really glow. Has a glowing effect like this one does. Or this one is still a little bit too light. But I like to see a better blue lightsaber. This one looks a little bit too dark. Yeah. Maybe something like this screwdriver something around that color yeah all right y'all i mean i do recommend this figure go ahead and look for him pick him up he just got a couple of issues and stuff like the hair the hairline like the dye is bleeding down his face and he got some little bit of lipstick right there i'm not sure how accurate that is and the extra head is kind of pale on the pale side but other than that he's a good figure good articulation um, joints do pop out every once in a while, but if you just pose him and put them on the shelf, it shouldn't be, it should be fine. All right, y'all, this has been Jeter. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.